in this video, we're going somewhere we haven't gone to in years. I'm talking years and I swore that I would never come back to this place in my next career of selling on Amazon at retail arbitrage, but we're gonna go check out this one place. But before I tell you what that place is, look what I just found. So I was in Goodwill, shout out Goodwill. And uh, probably the most expensive, they gave me these cool Ikea bags, which I can use. These are amazing. These are like indestructible. We just bought some used books in here. We have used books. I don't know if you can see in there. Used books, boring content. You know what I mean? Books are boring, but you know what I mean? Books can pull if you can find them. Um, and then I found these here I wanted to share with you real quick. If you ever find things like these Hess trucks, these are highly collectible and desirable. We just have to clean it up a little bit. The toes intact, right? Looks pretty good. No major cuts, scratches, or nothing's really broken on it, right? We got this one here as well, right? This Hess medical bus or Hess bus, whatever it is. And then I also found in this Goodwill, we'll fix this after, whatever. I found this, yo, it's gonna drive away, bro. We found a brand new Star Wars toy that we're gonna send into Amazon. Cause I always tell you, we look for factory sealed stuff, right? This is sealed up. All right, BB-8, this is, we got this for, how much we pay for this? $10, I think, and it's selling for $44 on Amazon. Totally big score. Now, I didn't do a, a video on that Goodwill because when I go for books and stuff and I'm only picking up two, three, four play things, it's not that interesting. And I'm all about entertainment and showing you guys what you can go and buy in bulk, what you can find in everyday stores, right? And there's not a Goodwill. And when you show Goodwill stuff, you can show what you buy, but chances are, um, when you're in the store, you can't, um, you're not gonna probably have it in your Goodwill. You might find something similar, which is why I just shared you with what I did with the Hess trucks. Pick them up, they were $6 each. I paid $12, I can sell them as a set for like 70 bucks. But enough of all that, right? Check out where we're going. All right, you ready? In three, two, one. Dollar Tree. You guys have been asking me for Dollar Tree videos forever. I always get it in my comments, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. And I'm always like, nah, I don't want to go in Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree is trash, right? Like we don't find a lot of stuff. But this video is a lot for the beginners and maybe for not the beginners. I don't know what we're going to find in here. I haven't been in Dollar 25 Tree, <laughs> Dollar 25 Tree for years to do a video. Maybe I did one last year out of the blue because I was bored. I don't know. But we're going to go in right now, see what we can find. So come with me and let's see any of these dinners we can get. Let's go. Of course, when we're in the Boca Raton Dollar Tree, we got those nice carts. All right, excuse me. When you're in Boca Raton, you get those nice carts, right? I'm gonna scan these. I've bought these by the cases before. Now, I don't know, always dropping shit drop gang in the building um i've bought these in the past the caseload i'm just curious it, it's it smells like like oh man it smells like like somebody shot their pants bro see look look at this but this is for uh eight hours of life full charge i don't think that's for one there's no rank that's not going to be a good one uh, sometimes these ones, let me see. Garden Solar Steak. Let's see. This one here. Yo, it smells really friggin' bad right now. I have to move on to this in a second. Hold on. Oh my god. Hold on. Um, let me see. I feel bad because I think it's the I think it's the old lady we just passed. Bro, I feel bad. I think I think she might have, you know, she might have done her thing. Okay, let's continue. Let's go. Let's move in. So some of the go-to items that I used to go for in Dollar Tree was like household soaps, cleaners, beauty lotions, right, stuff like that. You don't really find a lot of toys in Dollar Tree. Um, maybe we will today. I don't know. We're gonna scan a bunch of stuff. We're gonna see, is it profitable? Can you come to Dollar Tree and find stuff? I'm sure you could if you scanned enough items uh, to realize a profit. Um, all right, we're actually in the health and bath and accessory section. Let's, let's start scanning. 
All right, I like name brand stuff. Yardley, right? Yardley has a decent name. Let's scan some Yardley. And just a reminder, things on a dollar here, they're a dollar 25. They should change their name back to dollar 25 tree. Unless they have plans to going back to dollar tree, right? Unless they plan to go back to a dollar, but I doubt it. Let's see, look at this pack of four. Pack of four. Look at that. Does it sell? Is it, I mean, there's no rank on it. It looks like we're gated. The single Energize Sport. This looks like we couldn't buy it by the single. We'd have to sell it by the case or by the, you know. Let's just see. Do we just hit a dinner right off the bat? Suave. All right, we'd have to do that online. We'll come back to that. I'm not sure if I want to take that because there's no rank on it. And we could look at from there. Another thing you'll find in Dollar Tree is that a lot of the UPCs aren't going to work. So you need to kind of know certain brands that you want to scan and you kind of want to go from there because you're going to find that a lot of UPCs do not come up. And that's because Dollar Tree has special arrangements with a, with a lot of these brands and companies and Dollar Tree gets certain sizes sent to them that you won't find anywhere else. That's how they're able to charge a uh, $1.25 for it. Not coming up. It's hard to find. Let's see. Oh. Let's see, three and one. I like doing the body washes and the shampoos, soaps, stuff like that. But again, a lot of times you're gonna have to take pictures of it, similar to what you would do in Burlington. See, it's good for bundling. So you can make a profit there too. Ultra Max, right? You're gonna pay three seventy-five for three, and you can make five dollars profit on each pack. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, power stick stuff like this, like. But but it's it's all about this name, right? Arm and Hammer. People know the Arm and Hammer brand. You know what I mean? Six fifty-nine for one. That's not the right one. That's baby. Zest. Zest is an okay name, but look, six pack. But that's a real trash rank in beauty, and it's only got one review, so I wouldn't I wouldn't check that. You know what I mean? Fresh aqua. You can make a profit on that. You could double up on this one. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. But it looks like it's a different packaging. It says aqua body wash gel douche. That's what it says. I mean their words, not mine, you know. Uh, soft soap. Another brand. I get excited with the cleaning supplies, honestly. I, bro, these people are mad fucking loud, bro. All right, I think they left now. All right, let's check it out. Dial. Eight, oh, oh, they're still there. Still there. <laughs> Spa Luxury. That's this brand. Spa Luxury. Also, things that were in the store are like um, picture frames, stuff like that. Certain picture frames, magnet magnetic picture frame. Oh, this is a weird Dollar Tree, huh? Wow, this goes right up into food. Uh, we can take a look at grocery because sometimes I like to look at condiments. I like to look at spices, uh, hot sauces. I, I bought a, a lot of Valentina. I bought 85 Valentina hot sauces that I tripled my money on. So condiments, hot sauces, spices are the things I look for. With, uh, with food here. Let's go over to the loudness and let's see if we can scare them off with the camera. Ready? Over here. I look for like Sesame Street, but I'm gated in Sesame Street, so I can't sell Sesame Street anyways. Things like this, like this. We're gonna line these up. Baby Shark, Star Wars, right? Let's just see what we got here. It's not coming up. Let's try Baby Shark. Again, like I said, a lot of these UPCs are not going to come up because they're specially made packaging. So, like, you're not going to find this size in Walmart or Target. You're only going to find it here. See, when I, it says eight ounces, this is eight ounces, six ninety nine. We're not going to make anything on that. But if we bought two of them, I mean, look, look at that. Imagine, imagine you sell one for a million dollars, bro. And then you profit 850000 That's pretty cool, right? It's a good hit right there, man. That's, that's the number one product right there. Eight-ounce baby shark for a mil.
I wonder if that would even ever go through. Like, I wonder if somebody accidentally bought that, or even if they really wanted to buy it, if that would, if Amazon would ever let that fly. If that would ever make it to your bank account. Let's see, kid shampoo, but again, no name. It's not really a name. Got that Vaseline get lathered up. Oh, I don't think they were laughing at me, bro. <laughs> Fisher Price baby wipes. Diapers, Fisher Price diapers. Petroleum jelly. Not a profit. Let's see. Not coming up. I've never knew Fisher Price made diapers. That's that's pretty interesting. Salon selectives. Remember salon selectives? I remember the commercials for these. Not coming up though. Over here they have like just for men beard color for a dollar twenty-five. Normally this stuff is kind of expensive, I think. I mean, I don't know. I probably should color my beard when it gets gray, honestly. <laughs> but I don't keep a beard for long. I shave it right off. It's not coming up. Oh, see, it does come up. So look. Check this out. Can't FBA it, though. It says fees with FBA, right? But if we go to seller fulfilled, this is this is less than a pound, right? So look at that. Eight eighty seven. If we put $1.25... <laughs> Comment below, bro. Just you, you know why. Just comment below. So even if I did it on the high end and put five dollars, it would be less than five dollars. Two sixty-two would double up with that. Maybe we get that. I don't know. Maybe do they have a bunch? They have a whole box here. Do we? Uh, let's check seller ramp. I mean, to spend a dollar twenty-five on it, it's not a lot of money, right? To double our profit, I just want to see what the metrics are. If it's within our top three percent, so top one percent. So we like that. 24 a month, but we can't FBA it. That's the problem. It looks like it used to sell for a higher price, but people have gone on and tanked the price down. So let's just take a look. Everybody's FBMing it, 1040. I mean, we could even wait till, like this person has 64 at 1198. And then after them, it kind of goes back up. So we could get it and then hold it, right? We could wait. Like we're not gonna, I mean, even if we sold it for the lowest price FBM, you know, we could still do it so honestly it's top one percent it looks like it would be a good buy let's uh bro we got a whole box here it's crazy so we've got so even at 1098, 1088 or whatever, with the uh, 262 profit, that's even with, that's on shipping on the high end. These probably are not going to be that much to ship. These are probably, it's probably per one of these, like one of these, it's probably going to cost three, four something. Super light. Maybe this is probably maybe three ounces to ship. It's not a lot of money. Um, but yeah. You have to see, but you, you probably wouldn't have looked at this if you didn't know that hair color in general is good, is good like subject matter, right? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we've got 31. So we're going to spend about 40 bucks on this entire box, right? That we have to sell. And then over here, they have the root touch up for women. Now this will be my, this will be my deal breaker, right? Like I like that, right? I don't even know what's going on right now, bro. Let me see. So it's not again, I'm not coming up with the barcode. Let me see. We do B color root touch up. I don't see it here. I don't see it here. Dermacil sometimes brings back profit. It's a name. It's not a good name. It's, it's like a decent name, but it's not like, you know, oh my God, it's Dermasil. You know what I'm saying? But look, you can get a pack of three here. It says facial scrub. This is ultra gentle conditioner. So we're not going to get that. Let's uh, let's move on. Over here, I like looking at like whitening products, the things that are usually pretty expensive, like 3D white, even though it's a 2.3 ounce. It's a really small tube. That's how they, I guess that's how they keep it at $1.25. If we scan it with the, comes up $3.99, we're not gonna make anything there. Let's see, Colgate whitening, gel, 
Oh, look at this. Check this out. Pack of six. Pack of six. You're not going to make anything. You're barely going to make anything on that. Let me know in the comments below. You guys getting that? For a $3 profit, you're spending $1.25. Even after shipping, top 1%. You're making you money, right? And so another thing I like to is like triple antibiotic, hydrocortisone cream, but these are no names. These are no brand names. These aren't something you can find every day, which makes them not that valuable on Amazon, in my opinion. You have some like shaving stuff, deodorant sticks. These, I used to sell these. Dermacell hand wash. Another derma, Dermacell, but I sold them in packs of like three. See, a two pack over here, two pack. Not gonna make you anything really after shipping and prepping costs. If you're prepping right here, not making anything. They have Dove. I've scanned these before. Nah. Let's keep it pushing. Hey guys, hey guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it. And if you really like my channel, please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button. If you don't know where the subscribe button is, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> All right, before we go to the cleaning aisle, before we go to the cleaning aisle, I wanna hit up groceries since we're right here. I wanna look at uh, hot sauce, maybe some seasoning, some other anomaly, so. Can we get down there? Is there any hot sauce down there? No hot sauce, that's soda. We don't need to get down there. Um, let's go down here and see. I don't see any hot sauce. It'll probably be in the other aisle. Oh, actually, I do see some. Hold on. I see Texas Pete. That's not the hot sauce we're looking for, though. Louisiana hot sauce. I don't even see any Valentina hot sauce. There's a certain hot sauce I'm looking for that I want to share with you. I just don't see it here. Red Hot Louisiana. We can scan the Louisiana. I doubt it's going to bring back something. Yeah, it's not coming through. Pop-Tarts used to bring back a pretty good premium back in the day, but now they have Toastums, which, <laughs> which are not Pop-Tarts. See, Aztec Revenge. Stuff like this, I like. It's a small company. It's good subject matter. Look at this. The rank is kind of trash though. The profit's there. The rank is kind of trash. This is probably like top 15%. Top 6%. That's out of our parameters that we're willing to spend money. I don't see anything here. I didn't see any spices. Actually, I did see spices. Let's, let's circle back. We have spices right here. But what are the good spices, you might ask? Well, I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that I like to look for weird packaging, things that are not common. Like, they have a lot of this, so obviously this stuff, this brand right here, is obviously the Dollar Tree brand. And chances are you're probably not gonna get any moolah buying this Thing, thing, uh, yeah, all right. We got Kingsford here, 523, not gonna bring us back anything. Not gonna bring us, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they don't have the damn hot sauce, bro. Usually they have a whole shelf full of like different hot sauces, but they don't here. So let's go over to the cleaning stuff. All right, so when I'm in the cleaning section, I look for like palm olive or like Dawn, um, Ajax. Sometimes I look for like different scents or seasonal scents. Uh, things like lemon and lime sell, but seasonal is usually, that usually means that it's like limited time, right? It's only available during a certain season. Now, I live in Florida, so I don't get a lot of seasonal stuff out here. Like, let me see this here. That's not gonna go good. Let me see. This person has to look here, right? Oh, you missed it. Comet was good to me before the spray specifically. You see, so you see, you get a see, you can make profit, man. But after fees, I mean, four sixty six isn't that bad. But, oh man, they're here. They're following me, bro. They're following me. Requires approval. Can't do it here. 
Well, anyways, you could double up on that if you wanted to take all the comets and solve for 1218. The problem with that is, look, you have, where is it? Wait, where is it, where is it? You've got a couple people in there for 499. Who's making profit at 499? You can't even buy that at a flea market and make profit at that price. It's just not possible. It is not possible. Let's see, they have this down here, awesome cleaner. Keep in mind that I am in Boca Raton, Florida. So I don't expect this Dollar Tree to, usually you have to go like, I mean, not for nothing. You really gotta go like in the hood to get the good stuff at the dollar store, you know what I mean? Like we've sold these before and we've sold the Spick and Span in a combo pack, but we've still sold it though. Let's see, again, with the UPC, it's not coming up. This one's coming up, but a three pack, but even a three pack, you could double up possibly. Uh, double up. But after shipping and packing, you're only looking at a little bit of profit. This is good for beginners. You know, this is what this is what you have to do when you're gated in a lot of stuff. Like, look at this. Not not good anymore. I used to sell that with the spray. This one. I used to sell this one. You used to be able to get this and that one both for a dollar each before it was dollar twenty-five tree, and it, you were making bank. But unfortunately, actually, do I see it down here? Do they still have it? I haven't seen it in a while. Ooh, they have the Spick and Span spray, but this is the this is the 22 ounce spray. This is a 16 ounce spray, so it is not the same. I don't remember them being this small. They used to have bigger ones, man. Like they used to have these size, or a little bit smaller than that. Man, because look, they have this here. This is the. 28 fluid ounce. So this is the right, this is the correct refill. However, it is not the correct spray. That would have been a dinner. We would have cleared it all out, man. Right? Am I am I looking at that right? Like I can't, there's no way I can make that work, right? 16 ounce versus 22 ounces. You can't make it work. I'm trying to pull up the listing again. See, look, right here. 22 ounce spray with 28 ounce refill pack. So this is the refill pack. This is the 28 ounce refill pack, but this is not the 22 ounce bottle, which sucks balls. Question is, can we get this Spick and Span 28 ounce by itself? Can we figure out a listing for it? This says 34 ounce. This is not the right size either. Let's see, totally orange. There was another, there was a, a toilet cleaner that was actually a pretty good one a while ago. Again, I haven't been here in years, man. Look at gated and all these, <laughs> gated and all of this stuff, man. Which I'm sure I could get ungated in. Um, the works. This is the one I was selling right here. Bathroom cleaner. So I was selling like packs of twelve or packs of oh, and that one up there too, the rust lime cleaner. That's a good one too, or at least it used to be, from what I remember. Yeah, see. I was selling, oh, these went for a lot more. These are really heavy. I was selling an eight pack, but you have to understand this is super heavy. That's absolutely not profitable at all. Um, right here, totally awesome rust lime calcium. There's also another one up there too. I need to check. But these are all items that used to hit, that can still hit if you can find the right sizes, right? Like look, this one, 870. These are all items that, and again, you could probably get auto ungated in these because they're not big brands. That's not going to bring you back anything. Don't bother with that. Uh, Comet Classic Kitchen Cleaner. This is 24 ounce. This is like a regular size Comet. You guys know Comet, right? Comet's a bleach. You could get um, two pack. Look, you could definitely do that. Hmm. You can definitely do that, but it's gonna be 250 and then I'm just gonna pull it up here real quick. Um, let's look right here. Two pack, look at that top 2%. It sells 35 a month, look at that. Pretty stable, sells pretty well. But look at look at how this says 1898. Look at how many people are on here because we're going by. Damn. 
So I guess the question is, is the FBA seller? Because look at look at all the FBM sellers. Like look at all, and look at the buy box down there. It's telling you the buy box is, the buy box is in pink. Look, the buy box is at twelve dollars, ten dollars, eleven dollars. See that? It's not selling for eighteen ninety eight. It's not selling for that. So let's go back to this and check this out again. And let's just make sure we're reviewing keep it to make sure that it's even it's even selling. This one was a better uh, sales link than the Comet up there. This takes so long, bro. I gotta go soon too. Why is this taking this long? All right, we have it here. It says six alerts. I don't really mess with that. Let's just see, what's it selling for? See, this used to, so for 18, 17, it's, it's sold. The problem is people have gotten a hold of it and they've, they've tanked the price. I mean, it does sell. Oh, that's for, oh, we made a fatal mistake there. Look at this, guys. It says for six of these. So we gotta put, we gotta put these back. Cause we're not gonna make anything from these. Let's put it back. We're all totally awesome brand, blah, blah, blah. DVDs, if you're ungated in DVDs, you should really spend a little bit of time here and scanning these DVDs because guess what? I found a bunch of DVDs that have been here for $1.25 uh, that are actually pretty good. Now, this isn't coming up the right DVD and I don't have time to scan all these. Look at this though. Bronx Who season one. So this is season one. Season two goes for big money. Season one though, I don't know why I have to request approval. I'm already approved to sell DVD. Anyways, go through DVDs because DVDs are gonna be <laughs> worth it big time. All right, a couple of other items that you should definitely check out in Dollar Tree are gonna be pet items and light bulbs. Pet items and light bulbs. Specifically, pee pads, stuff like that for puppies. Let's check, we were here right now. Let's check out some of these items. See if we can pull any, we had to put that other stuff back. Your boy made a mistake, sometimes it happens. We mess up, is what it is. Let's look at these pee pads here. A lot of times these aren't gonna come up with the UPC. Uh, when I was scanning real quick, like with my visual, yes, yeah, it's not gonna. I did notice it was a Purina brand product here. Down there, moist, moist, meaty. I don't know if I like the sound of that, but moist, <laughs> such an ugly word, bro. Let's try again. Moist, meaty, looks like we need approval, but we can get approval, no problem. I mean, you can make a little bit, it's not gonna be worth it though. It's just not gonna be worth it to put the time and effort into that for such minimal profit. I don't see any, a couple light bulbs, but unless they're Sunbeam, Sylvania, or some kind of name brand, I don't scan them. I don't see any books here either. Books are like my favorite thing to look at here at, at Dollar Tree. Oh, books right here. Let's look. Dollar 25 books. Look, at this place is in shambles, bro. Oh, but this is the coloring books. Well, let's take a look. I get a lot of heat when I say this, but when I scan, Dollar Tree books, I sell my Dollar Tree books as new. I mean, some people don't like that, and guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you think. To me, this is a brand new book. This was uh, sold from a distributor. Why am I gated though? Like, look, the rank is kind of trash, but the profit is pretty good. And I'll go up to the usually two million rank, but I won't go, I don't like that. I don't like that, honestly. Dollar 25. Dollar 25. Armstrong and Charlie. What are these ones? I don't know why my main account is. I don't know why that's happening. I do have a book account. We could probably get engaged, no problem. But it's probably as a scan as we go process because I usually sell books on my second Amazon storefront. Oh, always oh, dropping something, bro. It's, hard. it's tough in these streets, man. <laughs> it's 
retarded. <laughs> what a, what a, this area is nuts right now. Bro, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't like hold the phone. All right, look at all these books here, man. This is, this. The, usually the, the book section is a lot cleaner than this. Uh, however, this is just a really crappy, just a really crappy book area. This book's not worth it either. Sometimes you can find it with the barcode. That's really what you want. That's ideal. It's ideal to find it with no markings and no stickers. That's the ideal case scenario. I pay a dollar twenty-five for it. I like that. I love books and Dollar Tree. If I have more time, I would stay and I would I would scan a lot of these. But this is just such a shit show. Before the devil fell. Not gonna make anything. Alright, well, this is the book section. Books are my favorite, but I think we're just gonna have to leave our cart here. Shh, let's leave out. Say bye. Bye. This is the toy section. There's nothing ever really good in the toy section. Uh, unless you're selling on eBay, you can bundle stuff. But this is an Amazon channel, so we don't focus on bundling on eBay. You can bundle on Amazon too. Just a pain in the ass. If anybody tells you it's easy to bundle and make listings on Amazon, they don't know what they're talking about. It's a pain in the ass. Let's check out of here. We got our book. I don't see any fans, any desk lights. We used to find a lot of stuff in this place. Couldn't find the hot sauce that I wanted. No desk lamps. Sunbeam, no Sunbeam brand. Fans, we used to walk out of here with, with boxes of stuff. And nobody has anything anymore. Nobody's carrying anything. And I know that Dollar Tree has an online section. That's boring. And it's unathletic, bro. This is where Team RA over here. All right, let's check out of here. I'll give you my final thoughts on this place. So the one thing I forgot about was this here. At the beginning of the, of the video, a lot of these swabs... I believe this was profitable. We could technically get this item. Let me just see something real quick. Uh, pack of four. I don't know what the sales rank is on this. We're gonna try to find out right now. Pack of four is very profitable to double up. Uh, the question is, is it a good seller? Unknown BSR, waiting for the chart to load. Nothing on the keeper, man. It's just, I just, I can't, I mean, if there was, if I had information on these, I'm trying to see if there's any Pokemon cards over here. Sometimes they have Pokemon cards, a like dollar packs. I think they actually, actually, I think they stopped the Pokemon dollar packs, actually. All right, walking out of Dollar Tree, disappointed, like I knew we would. You guys keep asking me for this place, and I don't know how many items I can scan in there before I'm just like, this place is good for a beginner who's just starting out. Well, this place is good for like somebody who's maybe selling on eBay, Macari, and don't sell on Amazon. When it comes to Amazon, your profits are gonna be super thin in this place. You might be able to find some items. There are some resellers that post about finding, you know, items at Dollar Tree, but they're literally only finding it at that Dollar Tree. They're not finding it at every Dollar Tree. They're not, they're not making thousands of dollars off this. They're just using Dollar Tree as a keyword uh, because sometimes Dollar Tree is good searching because everybody wants to buy something for cheap. Dollar Tree is one of the cheapest places you can buy stuff. Unfortunately, if you want to make some real money, going to Dollar Tree is not going to be your best option. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please don't ask me to go to Dollar Tree anymore. I don't want to come here. Please, please. <laughs> Join the Hustleholics gang. Support the channel. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next hustle. Let's go.